the new star citizen alpha 3.18 ptu patch just dropped and with this comes the scorpius and taurus and i believe it's been given to some of the content creators for them to check it out before the actual live day tomorrow all right so with this patch comes a few known issues what i've noticed that is is that there is a significant reduction of known issues before the, the list used to be much longer than what i'm seeing here but let's just quickly go through some of them it says game client may close without error or crash handler so that's a known issue asap terminals are unusable and fade black when accessed harvestable deposits may be invisible to players causing collision or become unavailable for scanning mining or salvage gameplay trams are out of sync with the station timers causing trams to overlap or not appear on time elevators and trams are jittery during transit of player character also players may occasionally be unable to exit their ship seats damn this is still there when players are near another ship ship seems to hit an invisible box that kicks it in random directions the reclaimer main on elevator control panel do not respond to input cargo may be invisible in multiple ships after being purchased when attempting to start a refinery job players received the following error something went wrong when it comes to security contract evaluations is not re-offered upon failure combat service speaking progress rating inconsistently on missions security work assessment remain hostile npcs not spawning in ptv wheels on the orison btr area can clip into geometry and become detached from vehicle the snuff fighter attached to the constellations lack interaction prompting to enter making it unusable some ship wreckage erroneously give no material text do not let you salvage markers will randomly disappear after quantum travel with no routes set hopefully they do fix these known issues before tomorrow but we'll have to see along with this patch there are some fixes that they mentioned here when it comes to the antares the quantum dampener produces vfx and sfs but does not function so that's been fixed flare items shown as available in inventory are missing in the loadout manager that's been fixed and um, after returning to the menu and relaunching into the game character customizer will open interesting so that's been fixed as well they also mentioned that uh, this build contains multiple new improvements to help with server and client performance along with this is three server crash fixes all right you guys already know what to do leave a like subscribe i'll see you on the next video